and let's just push from the centre here. <laughs> let's develop the knight. Let's stop the fried liver. Let's develop the knight, attack in the pawn. Oh, they're being brave. Let's attack. And let's attack again. And there is a system that you can do. Well, let's bring the bishop here with a check on the king. Let's take the knight just to give a bit of disturbance. And castle. Gonna have to move the knight. Bishop wants to open up our king. So we know all about that. So the next thing we want to be interested in doing is bringing the knight across. He's always wanting to squeeze his king down, queen down here. We can block it by just bringing the king up. I don't think there's much else that can give it much hassle. So I'll just bring the king up. I've already got the knight set to come here, so you're probably thinking the pawn's going to be pushing down. So they're reframing their attack so that they can come down here, do a double dose. So we're going to bring the knight across as we planned in the early part of the game. So now they're changing their attack, so coming through the centre, but they're making space for maybe the queen. Could hit the head of the snake, could develop the queen maybe coming through. I'm going to hit the head of the snake first, give space for the white square bishop. They do capture, so I'm going to capture with the Queen. Now they're looking for an X-ray through with a discovery check with the pawn. So we could bring our Queen here in readiness for that situation. So I think we'll do that. Trying to give the King some company. Looks a bit quirky, but you know, the idea is there. So the queen is doing quite a bit of work, it's attacking the pawn that's got no protection on, we can easily lift this up or we could just attack the queen to say well what are you doing? I think we're going to take attack the queen, so maybe he's jumping here to put a bit more pressure on, sorry, if they move here then they push this pawn then they've got like a, an attack here but he's not doing that, do we open up the rook? Yeah, let's open up the rook centre, try and deal with these two pawns if they're thinking they're coming down. So they're attacking, that's interesting. We could attack their uh, bishop in the meantime, let's do that. It can always drop. And they do, interesting. We can always simply take this pawn so there's no problems there, so we'll just come here. And we can take back. Doubles the pawns, but gives our rook some play. So they've got this nice juicy passer. Like I say, it gives the rook some play. Don't think they will take. I think they'll be looking to double up somehow. Because they want to kind of support this pawn coming down. Yeah, didn't think they'd take. So is there another situation whereby we just simply just take, don't want to complicate it, and we're just going to attack again. Don't think they want to attack, I think they want to support this pawn coming down like I mentioned earlier. So I probably can see this type of situation. Yeah, they're not exchanging. They want to keep the pawn. So our knight can traverse, can traverse. I don't think there's any point in the rook coming here, attacking here, because they're all protected. So I think the simple thing is get the knight traversing. Can't take the pawn because the bishop's protecting. It's just giving it something to do. So bishop can move out of the way, can move here. Which is better. This one looks better, but this one gives the king some company. It's just that the pawn's just going to push down onto the bishop. 
I suppose in a way we can get it taken off the board, no problem. So pushes here, we come here, knight takes, evens up the pawns if we wanted to do that. It's probably looking at a two on one with this bishop on the pawn here. But obviously we can simply push up onto the knight. Pawn's going to push down onto our um, rook. So we can just come across. So it seems to be easily defendable at the moment. Might be of a small maneuver slide, just disturbing the knight, that sort of thing. But this is the key thing, the wanting to support this pawn coming down. So I think that's going to come first, then this comes, and then the knight moves somewhere. Just to safety, comes here, maybe it blocks it off. So the knight's moved first, that's interesting. So we could attack the rook, or we could just come in front of the pawn, just to doubly attack it. So I'm going to doubly attack it can probably think the rook's coming here now. Right, so I've got to check on the king. So we can go here. If we go up, what's the knight got? Knight's got to check on our king type thing, so we'd have to go up and then he's going to get the pawn. We could come here, which seems a little bit better, I think. So let's just move the king back. So he's grabbing pawn, so we're going to grab this pawn and protect this here. Can't go here because the bishop's protecting that area. But the knight still has got its roving check type manoeuvres just dancing around, maybe somewhere. I'm not even focused on the time, 151, okay, I'm not doing too bad for time. It's attacking the bishop at last, so we need to attack their rook if they forget themselves. Got a 2 on 1 here, but he's got a knight. Oh, let's take the rook. So now they're going crazy. We can't go up there because. I need to go to a sensible square. I need to go here. Oh, he's attacking the pawn as well. It's attacking our pawn. So what does the knight have? Could go and attack him again, but he's just going to go and put a check on us. Let's go here to attack the bishop. Try and give them something to think about. Bishop again can attack if he doesn't. Well, he's going to move the bishop, isn't he? If he moves it there, we can bring our bishop here to attack. And uh, let's take the bishop off. It's on our pawn here, so we have to be mindful of that. Does he have a fork on our king in the rook? Nope, let's attack. Thirty-six seconds. Okay, we're not doing too bad for time either. Got to check on the king to win a bit of tempo. And let's put the check on the king while we're thinking. He's got this pawn here, so he's actually going to hit our rook. Probably come here to defend the pawn. 17 seconds, alright, so let's bring this here if they forget themselves and they still take. Oh, what is this? Uh, let's attack the knight. And she is blocking the pawn. Let's, attack. let's go here, attack the pawn. 8 seconds left. Zero increment this is, I think, is it? Or is it three second? Looks like they've left the game. Okay, timed out. Nice game.